Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you five really important tips about Jet that you probably don't really know. Um, this is going to be some more in-depth tips. A lot of these are going to be about Jet's abilities and kind of how to use them in more effective and unique ways that you probably not really are thinking about right now. So the first tip is learn and experiment new ways to use uh, Jet's smokes. So a lot of you currently probably just throw smokes. For example, if you're trying to enter, you might throw a smoke and then dash into the smoke. Maybe not right here. Maybe you'll do that over here on B or out here on A. But what I want you guys to realize is that you can use smokes in many various ways, right? So the first thing for me that comes to mind is kind of teaching you to use one way. So right here, say I'm fighting someone right here and I expect them to peek out from right here. What I might do is throw a smoke like this. And you can see this is a really nice one way and it lasts for quite a few seconds. And you actually have two smokes, so you can just... This is also a one way that people aren't used to, you know, having to deal with because normal smokes can't actually land up here, I don't think. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think they can land up here. Um, that would be weird if they could. Uh, but yeah, so the, one, they wouldn't be expecting this, and two, it's really good because, uh, yeah, like you can just see them and they can't see you. Free kill there. And with a little bit of practice, you can do this on a lot of certain, like a lot of areas like this. You're just gonna get a feel for it. This is maybe not the best example because they can maybe see since this is like an elevation difference. But otherwise you can use smokes. If you're taking a fight here, you get a kill and then you know there's one heaven, you might throw a smoke like this and then you might fall back. What this does is it creates a sense of uh, unknown in the enemy's mind that's playing heaven. So like you get the kill right here, you throw the smoke. The enemy that's playing heaven is like, oh, are they gonna push me? Are they gonna push me? Are they in the smoke? Did they cross to the left? Like th there's a lot of variability that where you could be uh, whenever you throw this smoke, right? Like, cause you could be in the smoke, you could be pushing here, you could be there, you could come be coming back. You could have already be like gone to uh, events. So think about smokes like that, not just smokes to, um, you know, go into sight or just smokes to like smoke areas. Try to try to be a little bit more unique with your smoke usage. Like this is obviously a really good smoke, but there are other ways you can use them. So next tip is updraft in more scenarios and jump before updraft. So. The way that I like to explain this is I'm going to updraft without jumping first and then I'm going to knife the wall and then I, I'm going to do it like after jumping. So here. So I think that was at my peak. I'll do it one more time. That was definitely not it. But so that that's as, that's as high as I can knife without jumping. And then if I jump, you see how much higher I can go. Um, it's not a whole lot, but like this distance is the difference between being able to make it on top of certain high grounds not this because this is kind of low uh compared to some other high grounds but so yeah definitely if you're trying to get on top of things make sure you jump before you updraft that's that's a simple thing but also try to use updrafts uh more unique as well just like we're talking about with the smokes try to like you know try to bait shots like this you can you know how there's the jump peak you can do the updraft peak like if you're trying to bait an op shot like this is something that I, people don't really talk about but i just thought of it right here on the spot uh, another thing you can do is if you want to cross from here to here or just like somewhere else on a certain map you can easily kind of like avoid certain angles it's kind of blocked me but just try to think of how you can use updrafts you can use it with knives um which is obviously really good make sure you're doing that knives is its own separate thing which we'll talk about now um tip number three is practice knives and use them more frequently so a lot of people ask me i suck with knives how do i practice knives i don't use knives because i'm not good with them uh yeah, stuff like that. So really, if you don't really know how to use knives or you feel like you're not really that good with them, imagine knives as one tapping with the vandal, so. Oh, I was already out, okay. Yeah, tapping with the vandal. And, you know, that that's, that's gonna help you tremendously. Also, just practicing in the range on the bots. I'm pretty sure bots now actually reset your knives. So you can practice in the range, just kind of tapping heads. You wanna be jumping, you wanna be updrafting again. Um, also, the advantage of using knives is whenever you're mid-air, your shots are completely accurate. So you want to get used to gliding around like this and, you know, trying to hit your knives. Jet's the only character that can glide like this, um, so take advantage of it. You can also use that whenever you updraft and just kind of glide glide around like this. But, yeah, so, um, also don't right-click because, I, not, not never right-click, but try not to right-click that much because when you don't get your knives back and also... Look how random the knives are here whenever I right click. So you see that? See how it's just like completely, it's a pretty big radius for where the knives go. So like you could literally trace someone's head and not hit them at all. And that's pretty frustrating. You should probably just like at this range, you should try to tap their head um, and try to get the reset. Cause if you right click and get the kill, you don't even get the reset. Anyways, tip number four is use dash to take aggressive fights. So this is something that a lot of people don't do. Again, like I said at the start, a lot of people, they'll like to just kind of dash out to site. 
And then they don't really know how else to use the dash. So for example, throw a smoke like this. Dash out, try to take sight, something like that. But what we can do instead is just take a really aggressive fight. If you guys play Rena, you can think of using Jet's dash as kind of like a dismiss. Except with Jet's dash, you don't actually need to kill to use it. So like, say we get a kill here, we're running up, we're clearing the angles. I'm just going to do a little bit quicker than I normally would. So then I get a, I'm trying to take a fight here. Say I miss, I whiff like after a few shots. So then this is like my reset. The dash is like my reset. And I just get a get out of jail free card. Um, there are also other ways you can use dash. You can also dash side to side, um, forward and backward. So if you're caught in a weird situation, you can't dash to the left or to the right. Try to, remember you can just dash backward and you know, use your smokes. Use your smokes whenever you dash as well because that's gonna give you, again, a lot of variability for where the enemy might think that you are. Um, so the fifth and final tip is use the shorty and don't full buy with knives. So if you're popping your knives on a round, either buy your teammate or save and buy like a shorty or a sheriff. I would recommend the shorty, as I said. So the shorty is completely under, um, it's completely underrated for lower ranks, especially higher ranks. People kind of realize how broken it is, but if you're like, you know, plat gold, you probably don't use a shorty that much. Even in like diamond and immortal, people really aren't the biggest fan of the shorty for whatever reason. It's literally 150 credits. And if you get good at using it, you can get two kills on eco rounds for free, like bang, bang, two kills. If the enemies are bad, you can get like more than two. And if you're, if you're just unlucky, you can get at least one most of the time, especially if you're jet, right? Especially if you're jet, like say we're on defense here and I'm playing, I start on this side of heaven and I just have the shorty. I hear them running out mid and I smoke like this. And you can now walk into your smokes. Look how much extra distance I get with the smoke, right? Because I'm jet. So I throw the smoke, I might even throw it a little bit farther. And then here I can just jump out and then you can like throw a dash in to get away. Uh, that was not the best dash for me, but you have, es you have escape potential. You start here, you throw a smoke, you run up, go for the kill. Again, it's good on jet because, because of her utility, you can easily get out. And yeah, even if you just trade one for one, um, it's going to be really strong for you. This is good with knives because you have this quick swap. Also, if you're opping, also bonus tip op. If you, uh, if you want to play jet, you should try opping. Uh, you don't need to op only. You can use the marshal. You can use the op as well. Um, just try to, if you have enough money, if you have bonus excess money, try to learn how to op and try to just use the op. It's really broken. It's not that hard to use. And it's just a free kill once you hit people in the body. Um, so those are all my kind of in-depth jet tips. Pretty much most of these tips kind of talk about um, how each of her abilities, there's a lot of like different ways you can use them. So try to think about how you're currently using her abilities like smoke, updraft, dash, and try to think how you could use them in different ways and how you could better use them to grant you more round wins, kills, and overall, uh, you know, wins. So, you know, let me, let me know if you guys have any questions or um, any other like ideas for guides or anything like that. Uh, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.